Welcome back to Broncos and Parts. My name's Chris. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and stick around till the end of the video for additional links for other how-to videos I've already created. Today we're going to address a common issue with Broncos and F-Series trucks that have spent too much time in the rust belt, had window leaks, or just too much salt get inside of the vehicles. On this 1992 through 1996 F1 series or Bronco bucket seat, there's extensive rust on the lower seat brackets of this bucket seat. We're going to refinish that today. Let's get started. Before you remove the two 15 millimeter bolts attaching the front seat brackets to the floor, you'll want to spray the underside of each bolt with WD-40 or PB Blaster or any other type of penetrating oil. You'll want to let that soak for three or four hours or even overnight if you have the time. After you've waited for the penetrating oil to work, take your 15 millimeter wrench or socket and start removing the bolts. I would avoid using an impact wrench because you do not want to twist the head off that bolt. Take your 15 millimeter wrench and gently remove the two bolts holding the two rear brackets. The final step in removing the bucket seat would be disconnecting the gray lumbar support power supply bracket. Mine has been marked with blue ink. The next step will involve removing the large chunks of scale and rust from the seat brackets. You can do this with a wire brush or a cup style wire wheel which I'm going to use. Before you get started make sure you're wearing proper eye protection and a mask to keep all the debris you'll be sanding or grinding off the seat base from getting into your eyes and lungs. After hitting these seat brackets with the wire wheel, you can see how pitted and damaged they really are. There's a lot of good metal here. These haven't been compromised, but I've seen other brackets where they've been completely rotted out and just crumble in your hand. Same with the other side. This one needs a little bit more grinding and we're going to get to that right now. I've hit the base brackets with the wire wheel for a few more minutes and I've removed most of the large flaking rust. There's the other bracket. We're going to be coating these with a rust reformer type primer that will actually seal in the rust and prevent additional rust. The next step is going to be wiping this all down with acetone or alcohol and cleaning it and prepping it and taping it off. Okay, I wiped everything down with acetone and gotten it nice and cleaned up. Then I'm going to prepare it for paint next. Please keep in mind that you could have taken the brackets and had them sandblasted, media blasted, four 10 millimeter bolts separate the seat cushion from the seat frame. So if you are so inclined, you could take this off and have it sandblasted. But when we put on the rust sealing primer, this rust should no longer be an issue. What I've done is taped a large 55 gallon trash bag over the seat to protect the cloth. I've loosely taped around the brackets. I'm not too concerned about overspray getting underneath the seat. I've covered up the spring and some of the other mechanisms. The next step right now would be applying the rust reformer sealant primer paint. Let's get started. The first coat is going to be Rust-Oleum rust reformer. Let's get this stuff on. We're going to let that coat dry per the instructions on the can. We're going to hit the brackets with some Rust-Oleum gloss black paint to match the rest of the bracketry under the seat. Here's the finished product. I'm very pleased with it. In hindsight, I wish I would have used a semi-gloss or a satin finish on the paint, but it looks a lot better than the flaky, rusty brackets I started with. I have not done the rear brackets yet. They're still rusty and flaky, but just doing the same process will get those cleaned up and sealed up in the future. I'm really happy with the way the brackets turned out, considering all the rust and corrosion that was on them. As I said earlier, I probably should have used a satin paint or even a semi-gloss. This is a little too shiny for me but it might make it just a little bit easier to clean. When you're reinstalling the seat, please remember to clean off the bolts 
and clean off the studs before you install the seat. I would put a little bit of fluid film or anti-seize on the bolts and the nuts just to prevent them from seizing up in the future if you get more rust or oxidation or corrosion under the vehicle. Remember guys, this is the way I did it. There's probably other ways to do it. It was fast, it was easy, it was cheap. You could throw a sandblaster at this and sandblast the brackets. There's four 10 millimeter screws. You could take the whole seat base off. I didn't want to disconnect any of the lumbar uh, connectors underneath the seat. So I went with doing it with the cushion on the frame. There are other ways to do it. I hope you enjoyed the way I did it. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.